Gemini fun uh, solar eclipse is it's conjunct the dragon's tail. What's the dragon's tail? Well, there's two points on the moon that are very important. The north node and the south node. The north node represents the direction of life we need to go in, and the south node represents where we've come from in past lives, in our past. And that's the dragon's tail. North node, dragon's head. South node, dragon's tail. This eclipse is conjunct the dragon's tail. And so we've got Venus in reverse right now, moving back, okay? And she wants us to take a look back to make sure if there's any part of ourselves back there that we can reclaim and take with us. Because a lot of times we can have our soul fragmented in past experiences that were detrimental to us and harmful to us. We can have a piece of us back there. So let's go back and get those so that we are fully present in our here and now. And so this eclipse is also, um, this Gemini new moon solar eclipse is also conjunct the dragon's tail, which pulls us back into the past. So is there something or someone you need to go back for? Is there a part of yourself that you need to go back and reclaim so that all of you can move forward in the love and the light and receive the abundance that is yours, to claim the prosperity that is yours, to claim the true love that is yours? Because don't forget, as we enter this age of truth, it's the age of twin flames and soulmates. And we are all destined to be with our soulmates and twin flames, the highest love we can experience as earth wants to be with her twin flame venus she's ascending to return to the same vibration so um dragons represent and i love dragons because they represent the fire and the power of the mind of god divine consciousness and so this is um such a great opportunity for all of us to come up higher and own our power and with Gemini, Gemini, you know, being the multiple personality, the multiple choices, you are going to have multiple choices coming at you here in May and June, and everything is about to accelerate in June, and it's awesome. The astrology is awesome. I can't wait to talk about it. But at this um, uh, eclipse, you know, it, it's really interesting because you know, on the one hand, we're being asked, okay, go back and get those parts of yourself that you left back there and bring them forward so that you're fully present, you're fully here in the now. And then, um, on the other hand, you know, a, a new moon and eclipse means new beginnings, new starts, right? Uh, starting new things, starting new projects, moving out. Eclipses call us to action. So, I think it's very important that we practice the law of detachment, okay? Because we don't help people when we jump in with their grief. Now, I'm not saying don't have compassion in your heart. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that if someone's at a low frequency grieving and you dive in there with them, you're now in that level with them. You can't pull them up. You can't pull yourself up. Compassion is you stay in your vibration and you throw them a rope. Okay, now whether they choose to climb out or not, that's their free will choice. Everyone has free will choice. Um, so when you practice detachment, what you are doing is you are empowering yourself and therefore you are empowering others to come up higher if they choose it or they don't. Again, you know, we love everyone, but everybody's, you know, has to choose for themselves where they're going to be. So. Here is four steps to the law of detachment. And you can find this in the uh, newsletter, the, the newsletter I have that will be sent out, the uh, Gemini May uh, solar eclipse for this video. Okay, so the newsletter that goes with this video, you can find these steps there. Okay, so the law of detachment. <laughs> when it begins, it, life, work, relationships, situations, etc whatever it is when it begins it okay is always right so when something starts it's always right because we need to be there we need the experience remember now we are all completing our karmic third dimensional lessons right now that's why it's really intense right now now it's not scorpio heavy intense but it's still intense because we're all graduating 
And, well, those that are choosing to graduate, not everyone is choosing to graduate. And that's okay, too. It's all good. Everyone needs to be where they are to be. We have to release judgment. Judgment's the worst thing we can be doing right now because we don't know their soul agreements. We don't know their soul contracts. So we don't know where everyone is or where they're supposed to be. So we want to focus on ourselves and where we need to be. So the law of attach detachment, when it begins, life, work, relationships, situations is always right. So whenever you start a relationship, a new job, a new location, whatever it is, it's always right because you're supposed to be there. Okay. Who shows up is exactly who needs to be there. Okay. So who shows up, who's in the relationship with you is exactly who needs to be there. All right. The job, the, the lover, the, the situation, who's ever there needed to be there for us because that's how we get our lessons. That's how they get their lessons. And soulmate relationships, karmic relationships, twin flame relationships, everything is always for mutual growth. It isn't one-sided where one person's in there for the lessons. Both people are in there for the lessons. You are a teacher and a student. You are a giver and a receiver. The universe works in a figure eight flow. I give, you give. I give, you give. I give, you receive. You give, I receive. And so that's how the universe works. And so whoever shows up is exactly who needs to be there. Now this is the, this is the good part here. What happens is the only thing that could have happened. You see, that is the truth, is that the way events unfold is the only way it could unfold. A lot of times, what do we do in hindsight? Oh, shoulda, coulda, woulda, shoulda, coulda, woulda. You know, and that's not fair to us because I believe everybody does the best that they can with what they have at the time. We all do the best that we can with the tools that we have, the knowledge that we have at the time. Of course, those that know better do better and we always know better after it's over. But while we're in it, we're in our karma, we're in our lessons, we do the best that we can. So what happens is the only thing that can happen, okay? And we need that lesson. So if you keep getting fooled by people, then we need the lesson of, oh, why do I keep getting fooled? Why do I, I'm so naive? Why do I keep believing this person or this, this type of person, you see? And so that's my lesson, to not be so naive. And, and to trust my gut, trust my instincts, that when my instincts say, hmm, she's not walking or talk, or she's not, you know, when people don't do what they say they're gonna do, that's always a red flag for me. So when someone says they're gonna do something and they don't, that's always like, whoa, okay. <laughs> that's who they are, okay? And so when you're involved with people like that, what happens is the only thing that could have happened. And number four, when it is over, it's over. And that is the law of detachment, is when it's over, it's over. So we don't want to go back and rebirth a painful experience and relive that same experience, especially when you're going to create the same outcome again, right? What's that saying? You do it over and over again, expecting a different outcome? It makes you crazy. And trying to understand why people do what they do, that can make us crazy too. You see? And so now we're moving into the fun summer energy of Gemini, Sagittarius. So let's have fun. Let's lighten up. And let's ride the wave of our karmic lessons. Let's ride the wave of this new energy because it's an awesome energy. And chaos is not bad because out of chaos is the birth of the new economies, is the birth of the new governments, is the birth of the new you and me. And so this is our divine opportunity to release the past, let go, it no longer serves you. The more you let go, the more you can be filled with light. And the more light you're filled, the more happy you feel, the lighter you feel, the better you feel. And the more fun you are to be around. So. Eclipses are powerful turning points in our lives where we are to make big decisions. And so go back and get that part of your soul that you may have left back there in some past experience or experiences and reclaim her, take her back and move forward and forgive yourself for whatever you've had to go through and know that the outcome was the only outcome that it could have been. 
and enjoy this new eclipse. Use the um, alchemy of creating what you want. But remember, every day we have to focus on what's working. Now, I'm not saying don't embrace your negative side or deny you got a shadow side, because I know there's light, light bearers, light workers that do that too. That, oh, you know, we're just going to do this Pollyanna. I'm so positive and ignore my dweller over here. No, I'm not saying do that either. Own it, claim it. If you got a dark side, own it, claim it. We all do. Don't make an orphan out of it, you see, because that, that can happen too, is where it's like, well, I'm not going to look at my dark side. I'm not going to look at, you know, that negative part of my personality because it's, it's not light, you know, is, is, it's part of me. I, I, I own it. It's mine. I take it. You see, that's how you become whole. We don't become whole by just focusing on the positive and not acknowledging you know the shadow that we're carrying or the grief that we're carrying we want to acknowledge it we don't want to give it power over us but we do want to own it we want to it's part of us okay so so that's how we become whole is we put our arms around all parts of self the good the bad the ugly and the beautiful and that's what makes us who we are we're human beings we're not we weren't sent here to be perfect gandhi wasn't perfect you know, the greatest people that have ever lived on this earth, if you know them personally, they got flaws. They, they drank too much. They smoked too much. They did all kinds of weird things. But they're ascended masters now. They're great cosmic beings. And so their heart was in the right place. Their intention was in the right place. You know, who comes to me right now is Walt Disney. You know, Walt Disney... What a great guy, what a great man. What did he give us? He gave us imagination. He gave us the power to believe in our own magic. And I do believe that he um, was a smoker and, and that may even be what you know he crossed over from. So I can't say for sure that that was what you know, crossed him over, but what a great man. Look at the legacy he gave us. Look at how he opened our imagination and rekindled our spirit and our ability to create. And he is now an ascended master. So you don't have to be perfect to ascend. It's not about being perfect and having perfect personalities and having perfect health habits and diet habits, although we want you here as long as possible. It's about your heart being in the right intention and doing what's right for you and being who you are. That's, your, that's the, all that you're here to do is to be who you are. You are the gift. So when you are being your authentic self, you're, you're living your divine plan, you're living your destiny, you're living your life purpose by being you and, and being the greatest version of you. And, and that's something that we become on a, on a daily basis as we, as we work at it. So, you know, this, this Gemini solar eclipse and then the lunar eclipse, you know, prime creator is opening up the heavens. We are aligning with the galactic center and the love light energy is pouring into us. It is recalibrating us, our DNA, our, our codes, our every cell, electron, atom cell and electron in our DNA so that the old programs and pathways dissolve and the new templates and archetypes emerge. And so, you know, this is something that is, is wonderful that's happening. It's exciting that's happening. It's good that's happening. So own your power, go for what you want, and never settle for less. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking and sharing my videos. Thank you for subscribing. You rock. Thank you for your comments, your letters, and feedback. Thank you to all my clients. If you would like to work with me and have me take a detailed look at your astrology, it's very easy. The link is below and you go to my PayPal page and you choose the length of the session that you want. Once I see you've made that commitment, I send you my schedule. You choose the day and the time that you want. And we're off and running, rocking and rolling. So until next time, keep looking up.